Do you believe in love at first sight, Mrs. Schroeder? It's a rather romantic notion. It happened to me the day I saw Warren. Senator Harding. I was 16, and he was the handsomest man I'd ever met. Of course, he wasn't senator yet. He ran the newspaper back in Marion. Houdini's brother? His name is Hardeen. And when I first heard Harding, I thought it was him running for president. He loves me. And he loves his baby daughter. But America needs him. And so I have to sacrifice. Marguerite, good morning. Madame Genet, this is a friend of mine, Miss Nan Britton. She needs a few outfits for the season. Gentil, we exist to oblige. Marishka? Marishka! See the mademoiselle to the dressing room, huh? This way. waiting to be milked. The Polish girl. No grace, no charm. I imagine she's still learning. I had like a cabbage. But she will work for pennies. You see what I am reduced to? Is business slow, ma'am? My dear Marguerite, how oh, you have blossomed. Mr. Thompson is quite generous with his attentions, huh? He does treat me well. The finest things for the finest ladies, as he must be here. But the cost is very high. And then on top, I must pay. Pay whom? Mr. Thompson, of course. Uh, you mean the city? I am told now I must pay double. Everyone must. I have saved nothing, Marguerite. All to run the show. I am a woman alone. You understand this? Can you not speak with your alderman? You can speak for me. To the man who gives you his attention. I... I wouldn't know what to say. Say that he's handsome. How happy he makes you. And how can you buy the things that make you pretty for him? If there is no belle femme, help me, Marguerite. You have power you do not suspect. Oh, bonjour, madame. 